I found six and a half online jobs that will allow you to easily earn money. And most of these jobs require no experience and no startup costs. And one of them I used myself to make over $180 an hour. And so can you. Number one is gonna be great for you if you like to be the go-to person when it comes to organization. And this is especially good if you're secretly excited about alphabetizing things and color coding. And that is going to be medical record specialists who are the unsung heroes of the healthcare industry because they help to decipher doctors' handwriting. And on top of that, they help to keep track of patient information with the precision of a ninja accountant. And basically, you're going to be helping to organize and maintain patients' records in a healthcare setting. And you can think of this as almost being a librarian in the hospital setting. You help to keep track of patients' records and make sure that they're easily accessible when they're needed. And this is a great job to get started for beginners who want to get into healthcare, as it can often be done remotely and it doesn't require direct patient care. Now, according to Glassdoor, you'll make about $37,000 a year with this one. And some of the skills that you'll need to have are going to be attention to detail, organizational skills, and knowledge of medical terminology. Now, in order to get started, you're gonna have to have a high school diploma or a GED. And depending on what state you live in, there may be a training program that you have to take. And a lot of the times, these training programs are actually offered by the hospitals and the companies themselves. Some of the pros of this one include the ability to work remotely, job stability, and the satisfaction of knowing you're helping keep important medical records in order. Some of the cons are going to include potential for repetitive tasks and the need for extensive attention to detail. So if you're looking for a job where you can organize to your heart's content and channel your inner librarian, then maybe the medical records field is going to be for you. This one I'm going to give an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. Now the next one on the list might be great for you if you love shopping and buying things and you want to learn how to convince other people to shop and buy things as well. And that's going to be customer marketing. And as a customer marketer, you're going to be responsible for creating targeted marketing campaigns that persuade customers to buy products or services. And you can kind of think of customer marketing almost like fishing. You're casting a line out there with your message and you're hoping to hook some customers. But instead of using bait, you're using targeted ads and personalized messaging in order to reel them in. And this one is great because it doesn't require a lot of technical skills or specialized knowledge. Plus, it's a growing field with plenty of opportunities for advancement. And Glassdoor has customer marketing managers making about $82,000 a year. Now, there's many different positions that you can go into within marketing. You probably would not start off at that one. And marketing is one of those things that you can do part-time, you can do as a freelancer, you can get a job doing it full-time, or you can even start your own business. So it's super flexible. And some of the skills you would want to have to succeed with customer marketing is communication skills, a creative mind, and a knack for data analysis. Some of the pros here are you have opportunity for creative expression, potential for high earnings, and you're going to be in a growing industry. Some of the cons are that it can be stressful, there's high pressure to meet targets, and there is a potential for burnout. Now the next one on the list is kind of like being a private detective. But instead of solving crimes, you're going to be solving the mystery of why your student can't do basic algebra problems. And this is the one that I actually made over $180 an hour with, and that is being a tutor. So this is one you can start making money with right away part-time. You can get a part-time or a full-time job, and you can do it freelance, or you can start your own business. And a tutor is somebody who provides individualized instruction to students to help them improve their academic performance. And tutors are almost like personal trainers of the mind. But instead of helping students build their muscles, they're going to be helping them achieve their academic goals. And a lot of people think that you can only be a tutor if you're tutoring someone in a language or maybe you're really good at math. But actually, there are many other types of tutors out there. And actually, the more niche you get, the better. For instance, if you're just tutoring someone in math, that can be relatively good. But what's even better is if you have taken some sort of standardized test or some sort of career test in the past, or maybe you've gotten certified for something, and then you tutor somebody for that. That is where you you can make the really good money. So for instance, the thing I was able to make $180 an hour for was tutoring people for this test called the PCAT, which is the Pharmacy College Admissions Test. And this is a test that I studied really hard for, and a lot of the material that I studied wasn't all that good. But through trial and error, I was able to find the best material and the best study methods. And because of that, I had a relatively good score on the test, and I literally did not have to sell or market to anybody. A few of the friends that I was studying with basically told a bunch of people about my score and people started contacting me to get my time. And at first I did it for free, but then after a while it became a little overwhelming and I started charging. And then it just
just spread by word of mouth. And eventually I started charging over $180 per hour. So this is amazing for beginners because you really don't have to learn any new skills. You literally just teach people something that you're already good at. And in this modern age where there isn't that much one-on-one -on -one connection, people are willing to pay a premium if you work one-on-one -on -one with them. Now, according to Glassdoor, tutors make about $38,000 a year, but keep in mind, most of them are just doing this as like a part-time sort of thing. And on top of that, you can make much more than that if you tutor for specific subjects. The skills you're gonna need to be a good tutor are going to be strong communication skills, patience, creativity, and a deep understanding of the subject you are teaching. And there's so many different ways to start tutoring. If you wanna get a full-time job, you could apply for that. Or if you wanted to do it freelance, I would probably put up some flyers at your local high school or college. Some of the pros of being a tutor are going to be the ability to make a positive impact on somebody's life, flexible work hours, and the satisfaction of helping someone achieve their academic goals. Some of the cons include a need for strong communication skills, the possibility of encountering difficult or unresponsive students, and the need for a deep understanding of the subject matter. This one gets an opportunity score of nine out of 10. The next one is gonna be great for you if you want to get some healthcare experience, work side by side with doctors, and be the Robin to the doctors Batman. And that is going to be a medical scribe. And a medical scribe is basically a professional that's going to assist physicians by documenting patient visits and helping with administrative tasks, which allows doctors to focus on what they do best, which is patient care. And medical scribes are basically like the silent superheroes of the healthcare world. They work behind the scenes to help make sure that everything runs smoothly, but you don't see them in action very often. Now, there are types of medical scribes where you're actually going to be in the room with a doctor, but a lot of them are remote jobs where you don't have to be there in person. And this is a great online job to easily earn money because it offers flexible hours and the ability to work from home. And it is a great opportunity for people who are just starting out in the healthcare industry. This one is especially good if you actually want to work in healthcare as your career later on in the future. And it's a really good way to get your foot in the door in the healthcare industry. Now, medical scribes make about $40,000 a year, and the skills you need to be successful as a medical scribe are going to be excellent typing skills, attention to detail, and the ability to work well under pressure. And this is another one where the best way to get into it is going to vary depending on the state that you live in, but typically there is gonna be a short training program which may or may not be offered by the hospital themselves. And a lot of the time you will actually get paid to be trained. Now, working in healthcare may not be as glamorous as Grey's Anatomy makes it out to be, but at least you get to be part of the action without having to actually touch anybody. This one gets an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to allow you to travel the world, immerse yourself in different cultures, and get paid to do it. And that is going to be TEFL, or teaching English as a foreign language. Now, this is one where you can actually live in foreign countries and teach people directly, or you can just do this remotely. And a TEFL teacher is basically like a language bridge, helping non-native speakers cross over into the magical land of fluent English. And this is an excellent opportunity for beginners because it doesn't require any prior teaching experience or a specific degree. Basically, all you have to know is English. And foreign language instructors make about $53,000 a year. Now, you could just get started with this one by signing up to a website like cambly.com and you can start teaching people English. There's also different certification programs that you can take that are gonna make the whole process a lot easier. Some of the pros here are the ability to travel and experience new culture flexible schedules, and the satisfaction of helping others learn. Some of the cons include language barriers, cultural differences, and being away from family and friends for extended periods if you do choose to work overseas. So if you wanna live remote, possibly travel the world, challenge yourself, and confuse people in different languages, TEFL might be a perfect choice for you. This one I'm gonna give an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Now, if you thought getting your own medical records was hard, try being the person responsible for releasing them. The next one on the list is going to be release of information specialists. And you're gonna be responsible for reviewing and processing requests for patient medical records. And this might be with patients, healthcare providers, or insurance companies. And if you're familiar with the medical industry, patient records are closely guarded. So basically you're gonna be kind of like a gatekeeper of of the medical records, like a bouncer at a nightclub checking for IDs to make sure the wrong people don't get in. And this is another one where a lot of the jobs are going to be offered online and remote. And it's another one where it's a great place to start if you wanna get your foot in the door in the healthcare industry. Now with this one, you can make about $37,000 a year. And some of the skills you're gonna need are attention to detail, excellent communication skills, the ability to navigate complex medical record systems, and a passion for helping people access their health information. And this 
is another one where there's a lot of certifications and entry level training programs that are offered. And in many cases, the companies themselves will train you. Some of the pros here include the ability to work from home, of course, a steady demand for this type of work and opportunities for career growth. Cons here may include dealing with challenging or sensitive information and a lot of paperwork. And in some cases, unfortunately, bureaucratic nonsense and red tape. So this one might be good for you if you're somebody who's great at organizing files so that you can find them when you need them. Now, you might've noticed that this video was 6.5 online jobs, not seven. And the reason for that is because the 0.5 is going to be the job you're doing right now, just doing it remotely or working from home. Now, a really great website to check, this is probably the biggest remote job website board, is going to be flexjobs.com. I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that, but they have a ton of different jobs listed on there. And so you can kind of see what types of jobs you can do remotely. And you don't even necessarily need to use the website, but it's good for getting ideas of the types of jobs that you can look into. And you might be thinking, Shane, there is no way that I can do my job remotely. And that's exactly what I thought because I was a pharmacist. And it turns out I was able to do remote work as a pharmacist, right? So it's probably one of the most difficult jobs to actually find remote work for. And I was able to do that. You basically just have to do your research and figure out what aspects of your job can be done remotely and then apply to a company for just doing those aspects. And then a lot of companies are allowing people to work semi remote or hybrid. And that's where one or two days a week you work remote and then the other days you come into the office. So it never hurts to ask your company if they have any open opportunities for remote jobs or if you can work hybrid. And by the way, if you're a student watching this, I made a video on the 11 best online jobs and you can check that out by clicking right here.